Has this ever happened to you? Sweetie, the bus is here. If only we could travel through time. Well, actually, we already can. Special relativity explains how we can travel far into the future, thanks to the relationship between space and time. So, how are they related? Well, let's begin with an analogy. If I hit this golf ball north, all of its motion is in the northward direction. But if I hit it northwest, with the same amount of force, I lose distance north, but gain distance west. Space and time are related similarly. The more you have of one, the less you have of the other. When I'm standing still, I am only moving through time. But if I begin to walk, I am now moving through space and time, making my motion through time decrease. That means my clock has actually slowed down, but the difference is so tiny, I don't even notice it. This is called time dilation, and it becomes more noticeable at higher speeds. Let's do an experiment to see how it works. I'll get on my spaceship and travel at half the speed of light, while my twin stays here on Earth. When we compare clocks, we see that my clock has slowed to 87% of hertz, and the faster I go, the slower my clock ticks. Not only does my clock slow down, so does everything in my spaceship, from the neurons firing in my brain to the aging of my cells. So I wouldn't know that time had slowed for me until I returned to Earth. After traveling at 99.9% .9 the speed of light for a year, I would be one year older, whereas my twin would have aged by 22 years. So, if time isn't the same for everyone, how can we all agree when events take place? Well, actually, we don't. Two events that seem simultaneous to one person might seem completely separate to someone else. To see this, let's go to a fireworks show. Two fireworks are about to go off right in front of me. I'll stand right in between them while my friend drives away from one and towards the other. When the fireworks go off, the lights from the fireworks reach my eyes at the exact same time. So to me, the flashes were simultaneous. But if my friend is going fast enough, she would see the light from the fireworks she is moving towards first, and then she would see the other light a few moments later. So to her, the fireworks weren't simultaneous. So who's correct? Actually, we both are, because our perception of the events changed based on how we were moving through space. That means that there is no universal concept of simultaneity, and the sequence of events is relative. So can we really travel into the future today? Well, not exactly. To see time dilation at work, we'll have to be traveling much closer to the speed of light, and that's just not possible yet. But for now, the next time someone asks you what took you so long, you can just tell them that time is relative.